Importing items into Alexandria is a quick and efficient way to get multiple titles and copies added without needing to perform individual smart mark searches or hand catalog everything. Alexandria will accept any mark type file for import, as well as tab delimited text files. When using a tab delimited text document, you will want to ensure that the top line in the document is a header line for all of the fields being imported. Mark file types will typically be sent to you by vendors if you inform them that you use Alexandria as your ILS. Sometimes the vendor will send you a questionnaire looking for information regarding your ILS configuration. If you are not sure how to answer any of those questions, we recommend giving our customer support line a call or sending an email for assistance. With the item file downloaded and easily accessible on your computer, you will go to the Tools module and select Import. The import window will have patrons selected by default, so you will need to change the category to Items, which is on the left. You will then click the Choose File button and locate the file from your computer, or you can drag and drop the file directly into the import window. For a tab delimited file, you will also utilize the field mapping button to allocate the proper fields for the corresponding information before importing. For those using a mark file type, using the field mapping is not necessary as the mark record holdings will tell Alexandria where the information goes. On the settings tab, you will select options that best match the type of import you are doing. The default selection, Add or Update Titles and Copies, is the best option for your generic additions and updates. The other options can be used for functions such as adding bulk ebooks, updating mark information from third party cleanup services, and more. The Options tab is where you will make any facility specific additions that are not included in the mark files. This would include things like copy shelving or location information policies, vendors, etc. The last step will be to check the Archive Before Import checkbox before clicking Run in the bottom left corner. Depending on the size of your import, you will want to give the archive 10 to 15 seconds to complete before checking your items section for the imported items or checking the import details from Operation Management.